so happy to see you. Are you ready to exercise? Are you ready to exercise? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Are you ready to ready? get some Are muscles? Yeah. Let's, mwah, mwah. Let's show the world our muscles. Now, if some of the exercises are a little hard, that's actually a good thing because they say that with no challenge, there's no reward. So if it was easy, then it wouldn't mean nothing. But if it's a little bit hard and then you get good at it by practicing, you know you've gotten better. There's a key word and that word is perseverance. Do you know what that means? Hmm, I think it means that you have to keep on working hard. Yeah. Even okay. through the hard stuff. That is what I was just gonna say is the key part. So I know what it's like. It's like when mom puts broccoli on your plate and you persevere through eating the broccoli because you know it's good for you. Except I really like broccoli so that's not the greatest analogy. We'll talk about this later, I think. Anyway, we're gonna show you all the movements in today's workout and then follow along as best you can. As long as you do your best, we will be proud. Of you. Let's do it. Our first exercise is a bear crawl walkout with one push up. It looks like this I stand with my legs shoulder width, I squat until I can touch the ground. I walk with my hands and I make my head to heel strong as steel plank. I do one perfect push up and I can always go to my knees for the push up if I need to. Then I walk back, bending my knees, get my hands right by my toes, and then I'll look up to stand up. You can always take out the push-up if it's too challenging. Our next exercise is for your tummy. This is called banana cannonball. So what we're going to do is lie back with our arms up, and we're gonna try to keep our hands and our feet off the ground. This is banana, and then everything crunches together. This is cannonball, and we go. Banana, cannonball. If you need something that's a little less challenging, put your hands down behind your hips and go legs straight, legs bent. Our next exercise is a reverse lunge to a knee raise. Legs start shoulder width. I'm gonna step back, bend my knee until it touches the ground gently. My front knee needs to stay behind my toes, so I don't want to look like that. Then I press up, and I'm going to take my back leg forward, knee comes up, we try to balance for a moment, then we'll do the other side. Back, gentle touch, up, and then knee raises. It really helps if you focus on one thing, so look at me on your TV when you do it. Now you can always do this if that is too challenging. Step back just like this. Then bring your foot up and lift your knee. Then we do the other side. Our next exercise is an alternating, which means one way and then the other, lateral, which means sideways, lunge. We're gonna go double our shoulder width. We have our rear end stick back and our hands zombie. One leg bends, we come back. Other leg bends, and then we come back. Our next exercise is a toe touch crunch. We're gonna lie down on our back, put our feet straight up, and make our stomach strong by reaching up for our toes. Trying to get our shoulders off the ground is the most important part. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. If this is just too challenging, let's cross our ankles and stick our elbows out and we can do up, up, down, down, crunches instead. Hi guys, I'm Spider Gwen and I'm gonna give you some goals for your workout. We have three levels. Level one, beginner. Level two, intermediate. And level three, advanced. Your long-term goal is to get to level three on every exercise. For the bear crawl push-up, level one, you're gonna aim for five. Level two, you're gonna aim for eight. And level three, you're gonna aim for 10.
for Banana Cannonball, level one, you're gonna aim for eight. Level two, 12. Level three, 15. For the reverse lunge, every two reps is one count. So when you step back, knee up, step back, knee up, that's one. For level one, you're gonna aim for five. Level two, you'll aim for eight. And level three, 10 or more. For lateral lunge, if you're choosing to hold, half of the time, 30 seconds, you'll hold on one side, and the other half the time, you'll hold on the other side. Otherwise, level one is 10 lateral lunges, level two is 15, and level three is 20 or more. Whether you're choosing to do toe touch crunch or the two up, two down crunch, your numbers for level one, you're gonna aim for 10, level two, 15, and level three, 20 or more.
Hey, my friends, the three pieces of the nutrition puzzle are drink water, eat like a samurai, and eat a well-balanced meal. When we talk about drinking water, sometimes it's a lot of fun to have a soda or a Gatorade, and every once in a while, as a treat, these things are okay. But the best thing for you to drink is water. Ask mom and dad if you can invest in your own personal water bottle. This way, you have something that you can have as a good reminder to drink water, and it's easy to take it with you wherever you might go. When it comes to eating like a samurai, the samurai warriors had to be ready to be called into service any day at any moment. So it was important that they had good nutritional habits. What they trained themselves to do was eat until they felt satisfied not eating so much stuff. So what does it mean to feel satisfied? It means eat slow and listen to your body's signals. And when you don't feel hungry anymore, stop. One good tip is to ask mom and dad for a smaller plate. If you have a big plate, we tend to fill our plate. So if you have a smaller plate, you'll automatically take less food. I'm sure mom and dad will let you go back for seconds. Another good tip is to eat slow. If you eat too fast, you'll probably stuff yourself up. If you eat slow, it gives your body time to tell your brain that you're feeling satisfied. Plus, eating slow will help prevent choking. The third tip for eating a well-balanced meal, mom and dad will probably be able to take care of that for you with the meals that they prepare. But try to make sure that you eat all of your vegetables and not just the fun main meal. Let's say that mom and dad make a pasta dinner, but mom made a salad and you go, ew, I don't like the salad, I just want the spaghetti. Well, the salad's part of a well-balanced meal, so let's make sure that we do eat that as well as the fun stuff. We all have things that we like better than others. I know I got my favorite foods, but remember, mom and dad love you, and they're trying to do the best they can to give you well-balanced meals and good habits. That way, when you're old enough to make your own meals, you'll know what to do to keep your body fueled and feeling good. So again, the three pieces to the nutrition puzzle are drink water, eat like a samurai, and eat a well-balanced meal. Great job, you guys. You did such awesome work. Uh, are you showing off? Huh? I mean, my muscles didn't I'm grow just, that big in just one workout. I'm just stretching. Wow, I'm impressed. Are you impressed? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, that's mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. I think that they've seen it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, you guys. I'm so sorry. For the bear call. Hey!